Hello and welcome to this Illustrator online workshop. This is the first video of two. Um, in this video, we will be introducing the workspace, importing materials, and saving work. So first, when you open Illustrator, this is the opening menu. To begin a file, you can go in the top left to this blue button, new file, or there's some quick um, presets. There's letter, postcard, common, HDTV, 1080, and then there's more presets. WebLarge is my favorite personally. Under preset details, you can change the title. So I'm gonna change this to Illustrator 1. If you wanna change the width and the height, you can do that here, or the orientation. Maybe you want two artboards instead of one. You can do that, we'll keep it one. And then for the color mode, we're gonna keep it RGB because we are not printing it. And then if you were printing it, we would recommend that you'd use CMYK. I think I'm happy with these settings, so I'm gonna hit create. Here is the workspace. This is the artboard. This is just one artboard. So if I chose two artboards, there would be one below. It's always important to save your work. So we're gonna go to file and then save, save on the computer. I'm gonna save it just to the desktop as an illustrator file. So now we are good to go. If you wanted a new file, you'd go File New. If you wanted to open a current one, go to File Open. When we're done, we can export the file. And then if we wanted to import like a picture or something, we can go to Place, and then we'd be able to place the picture on this artboard. You probably won't use Edit a lot because a lot of this is just keystrokes you can use like Control Z. For object, you can do different things like make a pattern, intertwine, repeat, blend, etc. For type, this is usually used for um, writing. So if you're typing things out on here and you wanted to change anything, you'd go to type. Uh, again, select is what you just might do with your mouse or keyboard, but you can also go here if you needed to select anything. Effect is where you can use different effects like uh, you can blur things, change brush strokes, pixelate it, add some texture. With view maybe you'd want to rotate the canvas or maybe you want to show a grid or anything, guides, you can do that here. Uh, with window you can add different windows. So this is like the tool window, this is the properties window, layers window. I'm just going to select magic wand. So then this just opens a magic wand window. I can stick it wherever. Let's get rid of it. And then if you need help at all, there is a handy help tab. If you wanted to make a link and share this illustrator file, you could go to share. And then if you needed to find something, but are not sure where to look, there's a discover button, this magnifying glass. So this workspace right now, this is called essentials. If we go kind of near the, the exit at the top right, there is a window called switch workspace. I'm gonna click that and it gives us options. Right now we are in essentials. Let's say I wanted to draw something. I would go to painting and then the workspace would switch out and it has this color window here because I'm mostly going to be dealing with color and artistic things like that. We're just going to stick with essentials. At the bottom you can zoom in or out with this percentage. You can zoom in or out, let's do 50%. You can also tilt the canvas. We can make it 90 to make it portrait, or just tilt it a little. Let's go back to zero. If we had multiple artboards that we wanted to navigate, you would do so next to that rotate view, but we only have one, so only one shows. You have a horizontal scroll bar as well as a vertical one. In the left side, this is your tools. This is what you will be working with a lot. On the right is properties, so if you had a shape and you wanted to change the color, that's where you would do it. 
layers is layers if you want to change the order of how something appears on the artboard that's where you would go if you wanted to move the menus uh, just click and drag if you want to expand them there's arrows which you can click to expand them finally if you are done with your project and want to export it as a picture you can go to file export export as um, under save as type click the drop down arrow and you can pick we'll do png there's nothing in it so i can't export it but if i wanted to export it when i had something that's where i would do it thank you for watching this first video of our online illustrator workshop